think for now, it seems to all the decline in the real economy, like retail sales, I think that for now, I don't think the stimulus is enough to actually reverse the trend. So, so far, I think it's quite uncertain that how long these protests and, uh, will actually continue. Mm -hmm. So I think that we are going to see another quarter of the recession before we see a rebound or recovery. And what will lead to that rebound or recovery? Because you're still seeing tourism uh, revenues fall. You're still seeing a hit on retail sales. I mean, the last numbers were disastrous. Uh, so to speak, uh, you know, what can change the scenario? I think that even protests uh, on the weekend start to scale down. I think that more or less that this stimulus might help to actually bring the growth down to uh, up to zero. But I think that before we move to a stronger recovery, we need to see the basic effects start to kick in. So yeah. I think the real recovery will could happen in Q3. But in the next okay. this quarter and next quarter, we are definitely seeing a much weaker growth. I wonder how important a U.S.-China trade detente is to that recovery for Hong Kong as well, because they've been hit by this even without the protests. And I'm curious for your read on where we are there, because I understand you think that China doesn't feel like they're losing in this fight. Yeah, I don't think that Hong Kong is play a cr critical role as the trade talk between China and U.S. I think so far have not affected the Hong Kong trade as much as people think. So I don't think that this trade talk is a crucial and the local protests, local retail so far still be crucial. And in terms of the uh, contribution from the financial sector are more or less stable. If you see the trading volumes, uh, the southbound, northbound flow, it seems that Hong Kong is still working as a financial hub. Hmm. It hasn't been affected that much. Mm -hmm. And on the China still think China still think that they are not losing the nego uh, the trade war is because of the China start to think that they are actually have not been massively affected. They are thinking that uh, President Trump still wants a deal. They are just delaying, trying to delay the future tariff and then hoping for to gain more from this trade negotiation. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, and how damaging, though, would it be to the Chinese economy if the December 15th tariffs go ahead? I think that that would be quite damaging because so far the confidence has been on the upside and then people are hoping to face one deal to be done in this month or next month. So if it doesn't happen, so the overall financial market sentiment will be hurt and also that year to day, the manufacturing investment have been really uh, slow, about two to three percent, and that will continue to be the case if the, or even weaker if the uh, these tariff being imposed. So I think that overall we see another 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 percentage point mm. decline in GDP growth. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.